welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be channeling messages from the divine masculine okay this is going to be a pk card reading there are, there are going to be three options okay there are going to be three options so let's see what are the archetypes of the divine masculine that are coming through into the reading. okay first we've got the vow okay the vow all right okay then we've got the castle next we have the sword we've also got the mentor the art the anchor the stone <laughs> the shaman and lastly we've got the art okay Spirit, you want me to do nine pick a card reading? That's too much. Okay, and lastly, we've got the healer. So what they're telling me is I'm going to group this. Is this is just going to be three groups? Okay, this is just going to be three groups. So which about this? Which about this? You pick is going to be your reading. All right. So I'm going to give you some time now to look through and then go with the one that resonates with you the most, okay? There are going to be three options. You've got the vow, the shaman, the mentor. Second option, you've got the castle, the hunter, and the earth. And then lastly, you've got the sword, the stone, and the healer. All right, so look at this take a deep breath and go for the reading that calls you okay go for the reading that calls towards you the most okay all right love see you on the other side if you choose that one you've got the vow you've got the shaman and you've also got the mentor all right so that one What's coming through is first and foremost, this is the very masculine energy you're feeling is actually yourself. This is yourself, this is not outside you. This is you coming into union with your masculine self. You guys might be so, um, you might be feeling pulled, you might be seeing a lot of birds, um, you might be feeling pulled to get in a tattoo around birds or bird like figures, okay. What I'm also saying here is you have to commit to the vow you made to yourself. And the vow you made to yourself is the fact that you said freedom was freedom was paramount to you. You are going to be free to be yourself in so many ways. You guys might also be pulled to like jewelry. Maybe someone will like find jewelry. What I'm hearing here is you committing to your to your purpose, you committing to your soul mission, you committing to your soul and divine assignment is what you need to be focusing on now. And it's like the more you focus on this, the more you attract the right people into your life. So even if you are single and waiting for that masculine energy, that person is all going to come in on to you able to fully embody what it means to be in divine union within yourself. You might have in the past attracted people who were older than you who also gave you some advice it might have been easy for you to find mentors in different roles it might also be someone who has stayed in the student gap for others okay being a leader comes naturally to you you are someone who even if you're in your feminine energy your masculine energy positions you as a leader positions you are being as being very active you're not the one to passively sit back and wait for things to come to you usually go forward you is that your will is that in your role comes very easily to you maybe a fire sign if i am um, leo aries sagittarius might be significant in your chat it has your sun moon rising MC or you have stellium in the signs, okay? So let's see. What vow did you admit to yourself that you are being reminded to commit to at this time? For some of you, this might be you choosing to basically just live your life, live your dreams, not caring about what the world thinks or what the world expects from you. Being free to be yourself. 
being free to be yourself capricorn placement might also be significant okay so it's like yeah birds again can you see the birds birds again are coming through here okay so this is like you are someone who the value you made to yourself was the fact that irrespective of whatever comes um you are always going to focus on your dreams you're always going to go after your dreams your desires you're someone who has very big dreams you might be you might have been described as being very ambitious or someone who doesn't back away from challenges okay and yeah you, it's because you also realize that capricorn placement is also significant to your chat so what i'm getting here is fire placements capricorn energy fire placements and capricorn energy um it may also be a bit of air energy. The astrologer wants to come through and it's like, okay, mention us before you go for that. <laughs> anyway, so as I was saying, um, yeah, someone who doesn't back away from challenges. And it's like at this point in time, you're being reminded of the value you have to yourself, that you have to keep pushing forward. You have to keep on focusing on your passions. You have to keep on owning your passions, trying to be the best you can be in every situation. You have to be the one to continue to push yourself behind bound, behind all breaking the glass ceiling and mirroring, pursuing your ambitions, pursuing your dreams and your desires. And let's see. Okay. Yeah. Pushing your dreams and your desire. See, you're ready. And it's about also not making compromises that put you in a that put you in a passive state or compromises that don't allow you to exert your free will, compromises that don't allow you to be yourself. You're being you're being guided to um, remember the vow you made to yourself. To remember, to remember the vows you made to yourself. You're being guided to remember the vows you made to yourself at this time and to not compromise your happiness. Don't compromise your dreams. Don't compromise your ambitions. Don't compromise your desires just because you are trying to play with, just because you're trying to fit in or you're trying to um, do things as they've always been done or because you think you'll not be accepted or because you think you may come out too strongly and then um, deter any masculine energy from coming towards you. Watching this, you may be a feminine being asked to step into your to being being asked to step into your masculine energy fully and really embodying that divine masculine energy. Okay, you are ready. You are ready. You've been preparing your whole life for this moment. You've been putting things in place, and now it's time for you to show up on failing you on really for yourself. You guys may be seeing 33 44s as well. 333s as well as 444s. Okay, so let's see. Why is the shaman energy here? Thank you. Okay, so the path to light. You've got, I make. I make the conscious choice to move forward towards the light one step at a time. I transform my weaknesses into strength by mastering my obstacles. I overcome obstacles. I transform my weaknesses into strength by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. All right, so at this time, you're being reminded like you made a vow and you promised yourself. Now it's not the time to start compromising on your ideals, on your values, on the things you want to do. Simply because the whole world is playing in a way. You're supposed to be the one who shows off a lot. You are a leader. You are a leader. You're not a follower. You are the one who sets out the... You are the one who sets the guidelines. Like, okay, this is how this thing needs to be done. This is how we should be proceeding. Your energy is very, very masculine. Your energy is very, very... um very active very you know very deterministic you make decisions very decisive because you know what you, you're not the one who is waiting to be led okay and if you are trying to underplay yourself if you're trying to underplay yourself that's also one of the reasons why you're seeing this reading because you're trying to be like okay let me follow the crowd let me do what the crowd does no you're not yet to be a part of the crowd you're yet to do something different you're yet to do something different okay you guys at this point seeing this decision this at this point seeing this video yeah 
cut between making a decision should you do things the way you want to the way you desire to or should you do things the way the world has been doing it all because you feel like some people are saying you're yeah, too loud you're yeah, too out there you're yeah, too you know you're yeah, too much of this you're yeah, too passionate you're yeah, too ambitious are you going to allow your ambitions to die down simply because you want to stop people talking about you or are you going to face your ambitions are you going to face after your dreams your desires and move forward towards it with purpose all right so at this point in time you're being asked to call back your energy from persons and places and situations that are less deserving of them this is the time for you to go into your cave and really remember yourself and remember the promises you made to yourself this is time for you to go into your cave retreat your energies call back your energies and really recall and almost like make a plan for yourself like okay why did i start this thing in the first place and now am i getting distracted what can bring me back into position what can bring me back into alignment and you realize that you're allowing the noise of the outside world to infiltrate that's why you've been feeling like you're off your game okay so the divine masculine is just coming in this reading to serve as a reminder like hey 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 hey, hey don't forget what you said you're going to do don't forget what you said you're going to do okay don't forget what you said you're going to do you are ready don't compromise your standards don't compromise your values don't try to hide the truth okay again can you see the birds can you see the birds you guys might have like you might also have air placements or you may be seeing but you're also seeing a lot of birds birds are similarly attracted to you um birds are seemingly attracted to you okay you might also be feeling pulled to getting a tattoo of birds and i'm saying maybe like you get a tattoo of birds and then you write freedom around it or you tell them to inscribe freedom so that it serves as a daily reminder for you to keep you in check so it serves as a daily reminder to keep you in check okay Keep you in check. The camera was like, okay. All right, let's see. Final message for you if it shows this deck one. You've got a new beginning. So, first of all, go into your cave. Go into your cave. Retreat into your cave. Come back into oneness with yourself, right? And then you are going to be able to get the clarity you need on how to move forward in this new beginning. You are being invited to instigate change. So you got Scorpions in the beginning. You are being invited to instigate change, but you're also being one that this transformation may be radical. Get rid of every city, your current life that can prevent you from improving. Based on this principle, destroy before rebuilding. You are promised the beneficial reverse, okay? So my love, you are being guided at this point. Get clear on why you are doing what you are doing so that when you start making the decisions and the um, decisions and the results and the consequences of those decisions start showing up, you let your, you let your GPS system be your plan. You let your plan and your commitment to yourself be your GPS system so that nothing sways you from the part of light you are committed to, okay? All right, my love. So that was your reading. Um, let me know if this resonates with you. Moving on to day two. All right, so. All right, my love. So if you choose deck two, this is going to be your reading. The Austin first of the three decks. This is the one in which the divine masculine is actually someone outside of you. What's coming through is this is a for you, the divine masculine is someone who is outside of you, who is going to be embodying that energy. And this overall vibe just feels very romantic, very intimate, very emotional. Okay. Now, for you, if you choose that too, your divine masculine is heading towards you. You've recently been doing the inner work of opening up your heart. Your heart chakra has been opening up. 
you've been working on loving yourself you've been working on honoring yourself honoring your needs you might have been feeling pulled so wearing more like pearls okay your birthday might also be in june you might be feeling pulled to wearing like pearls feeling pulled to roses okay but what i'm saying is a divine masculine coming towards you faster because now they've got some clearer and this person is like this person is coming towards you with all their strength and energies okay and I hear that you're going to really, you're going to really love, <laughs> you're going to love hearing that. But it's also because you've been doing a lot of inner work on yourself. You've been doing a lot of inner work on loving yourself, on accepting yourself unconditionally, on loving yourself unconditionally, on showing up for yourself unconditionally. You've been doing the inner work of stepping up to the truth of yourself, of being who you are in different situations and different circumstances so you've been doing all of that inner work and now that is what is attracting the divine masculine to you because now you are not operating in a wounded space anymore you are come you've come into a place of all hearted acceptance all hearted love all hearted self-acceptance okay so now this person cannot come towards you in your wounded state you're no more in that wounded state you're no more in that one that state. Things have changed. That's why your divine partner, this masculine energy is coming towards you with speed and alacrity. I'm hearing. With speed and alacrity, okay? So let's see. Let's see. What does your art need you to know? Yeah, and I also be feeling cool to wearing pink. Um smelling roses okay feeling pulled to wearing pink smelling roses so let's see all right we've got in rama where are you being called to journey to you guys might have been coming across some certain countries or places when you read when you see adverts when you scroll on when you scroll on socials when you watch movies certain movie industries might have been pulling towards you this is because your soul is calling you to those places don't think it's random this is because your soul is calling you to those places for some of you it's when you are going towards there that you meet the divine masculine or you and the divine masculine will go together towards this place okay but your soul has been calling you to journey to a new place place different from where you currently live okay so look into your media look into your movies your what kind of songs have been calling to you what there have been places what i'm hearing is like you've been seeing places come up on your feed you've been feeling pulled to you've been seeing places news about places tra maybe travel bloggers travel bloggers just seeing this name just come up randomly there's nothing random that's something they're trying to tell me tell you now there's nothing random there are no coincidences everything is synchronicity baby okay so what are those places calling towards you that's where you're going to be living next so start opening up your heart to being someone who lives in that environment maybe you should start learning the language um looking at the customs preparing your wardrobe to be in that environment let's see what are you define Okay, before I go into your spirit animals, what's the divine masculine wanting you to know at this point in time? All right, keep calm, baby. I'm coming towards you. Keep calm. Keep keep yourself. Keep on doing what you're doing. I love everything you're doing. I love the way you've been up leveling. I love the way you've been being yourself. I love the way you've got some more confidence. I love the way you've just been doing everything you need to do for yourself, okay? I want you to keep calm for me. Be calm. I'm coming towards you. Stay stay at peace. Remain peaceful. I'm coming towards you. It's going to be in earnest soon and very soon. And you guys, what I'm saying is like when this person comes to you, you guys are going to be moving together to this new place, okay? So that's why the place has been manifesting to you through different medias and modalities. So even if your physical body is still in one environment, 
where your soul is moving to it's like your soul has gone ahead to prepare you know before things come into your reality it's already happened okay so this move has already happened on an energetic level it's just that now you and your partner have to physically complete the move what i'm saying is like your soul is being pulled to a new location for some of you this might be somewhere totally on a different continent with different customs that's why it's also been coming to your awareness so you start picking up the languages you start looking at um their weather their dressing now you're fitting what you're going to be doing but it's like you've been doing the inner work on yourself okay so all that remains is for this external to change so your partner is saying this is the bi masculine saying baby oh done Okay, just stay calm, stay peaceful. I'm coming towards you. I'm doing everything I need to do to get us to where we need to go. To get us to where we need to go. All right, let's see. I'm just to pull the messages from the spirit animal of deck. All right, so you've got lion. Honor your soul and celebrate its journey. As I said, deck two. You really don't have much to do now your masculine energy the masculine energy outside you is the one who has all the work to do is the one that has all the work to do okay so continue to honor yourself continue you guys might have leo placement leo placement will be significant you might have also recently been feeling your hairstyle or done something different to your hair okay but this person, your divine partner, what I'm hearing is that your divine partner is maneuvering their way to come to you. They are figuring out like, okay, I need to get to my baby. I need to get to my baby as soon as possible. I need to get to my baby. And you, the baby, you are just being guided at this point to just continue to honor yourself, honor your soul, continue to celebrate your journey, continue to celebrate how far you've come. Continue to celebrate all the inner work you've been doing because you're seeing all those changes. You're seeing how things are playing out for you. But you guys, you're heading home. This castle you're heading to is going to be in a new country. All right, love. Let's see. Final messages for you. You've got spider manifestation. You weave your web in life. What you see before you is the result of your thoughts. If your current reality does not suit you, then it says time to make changes through conscious manifestation. Your energy can bring in all you desire. And then God be productivity. It is time to examine your productivity. Disorganization and indecisiveness may be causing you to miss opportunities. Take a moment to prioritize your goals and get a clear view of how to get where you want to go and what it will take you to get there. Okay, so this goes back to the country. So the country has been coming into your mind. It's not just your mind, it's been coming to your awareness. That's what that's what your that's what is being emphasized right now. This place has been coming into your awareness. So be clear on okay, where is this place? What do I need to do? What will I need to move there? I will what will I be doing when I'm there? But what I'm the energy I'm really feeling for is like there's really your manifestations are what's coming to life. Your manifestations are coming to life. So all you need to do at this point is just stay open to accepting it. Stay open to receiving it. Stay open to receiving what you want. Okay? Don't also be tempted to procrastinate or be indecisive about, oh, should I go this way or should I go this way? No. You guys, you already know where you're being called to. So stop trying to beat about the bush or stop trying to... Stop trying to beat about the bush. You're trying to say, oh, it's this when you know it's not. All right, my love. Is there any other message for you? Let's see. Final, 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 final message for this collective. <laughs> what I say, just let spirit guide you. To begin the practice of allowing, I must get out of the way and let spirit give me direction. Okay. When I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. Okay, so trust the universe as you move forward into this next level. All right, baby. That was your reading. If you resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. 
so you always know when i release new videos and if you like to look at rid of me the link is on my bio the link is on the bio the link is also in the description all right my love i love you that was your reading ciao Alright, so if you choose the three, here's your rhythm, okay? You got the Ila, the stone, the sword. First things coming through is fat vibes. Um, you guys might also work in the healing app. You might be coming from deck one or you might also have been pulled to picking deck one, okay? Um, you guys are coming from the healing. You guys might be interested in the healing app, so either um the alien arts what i'm seeing is like either western medicine or energy medicine or chinese medicine but yeah i'm very much interested in bringing things back to balance and bringing things back to balance and you are not averse to trying out different tools and modalities that will bring that will help him bring him that will bring change and that will help him bring him relief okay at this point in time, when you're seeing this reading, you are trying to make a decision. You're trying to make a decision between should I go this way or should I go this way? Should I do it this way? Should I do it that way? And the first message that is coming through is like, yeah, forgetting the fact that everything is one. Whichever decision you make, you are still going to do what you're supposed to be doing anyways. And then there's something about you, maybe you are focusing too much on the details and you're losing sight of the bigger picture. You're focusing too much on the details and losing sight of the bigger picture and you're trying to make cast everything into black and white, into this side or that side. Should I do this or should I do that? And you're supposed to be integrating things together to make a whole component. Alright, so let's get some more clarity on this for you. You guys might also be moving or you're recently you've recently moved or you're going to be moving soon there's also something about maybe your workplace is changing and that's why you're feeling like oh should i go in this new direction or should i do what i've always done should i continue to work in this place or should i go in this new direction what i'm saying is that you're changing you're changing you're changing so that you can go into a place where you can experience new where your energies can also be renewed where you can also allow yourself to shine okay where you can also allow yourself to shine where you can also allow yourself to shine you're pulling up your anchor you're moving towards what is truly calling you and what is stopping you from what is keeping you indecisive right now is because you're trying to say like oh okay is this what i really want or is, should i postpone this you're afraid of what is out there almost like you're afraid of adventure you're afraid of adventure you're afraid of what this going in this direction might entail going in this direction might entail so the divine masculine is coming in to remind you at this time of your strength to remind you of the fact that um, you being you, you being in the picture is all that matters. You in any situation, the situations can change. The consequences might be different. The healing modalities might be different. The methodologies, the techniques, the know-how, the skills, all of those might be different. The only thing that matters is that you are the one present in the equation. And because you are the one present in the equation, you always figure it out. It's like they're saying you figured it out in the past, so why are you worried about figuring it out now? Why are you worried about figuring it out now? You've always figured it out in the past, so what's stopping you? Why at let's say why are they worried? Why are you worried now? Why are you worried now? Okay. So yes. okay so right now you're worried because you don't know if you it's almost like you feel like you're biting off too much you're biting off more than you can show there's also the feeling of um you recently as i said you've moved but you recently it's like you lost something that you thought were you were 
you lost something that you thought would have been a long term that you thought had long term goals or you had long term vision for but this thing was cut short so that's also giving you the demotivation if that's the word and the disinclination to want to start something new all over again there's also something about you being up in your head so this is the divine masculine saying okay you are also being too practical you are being too strategic you are trying to um make your pros and your cons list you are trying to plan out every outcome you are trying to you know dot your t's and dot all cross all your t's and dot all the i's instead of leaving things up to chance you can't control everything okay so it feels like this situation you were recently in where what you were working on was curtailed that's kept you in this i don't want to use the word hopeless but that has made you a bit fearful you are someone who is typically fearless but that has made you a bit fearful about proceeding forward and that's what's making you want to over plan over budget over strategize over rationalize and over do all of those things and this seems a weakness to you right now you're allowing yourself to want to you're allowing yourself you are wanting to control you're wanting to control the situation and it's not supposed to be controlled it's not supposed to be controlled you're supposed to give things up to chance recently you guys may also have been feeling ill you might have been having allergies respiratory sick respiratory illness some bit of fever okay and you are just you are just unwilling to leave things to chance that's the energy right now you're unwilling to leave things to chance and that's why it's making it difficult for you to get up and go and move into this new adventure that spirit is opening up for you okay because you're now wanting to plan it out you're wanting to really really um be very calculated and very calculating with your decisions okay let's see what can help you yes okay so learn some more um be open to learning look at what other people are doing in your field not from a place of wanting to copy their their methods or what they are doing but just look at it like and then it's like when you look you're going to see different options and that's going to give you some peace and ease that you are free to do things in your own way because you see like different people and you realize that the most important thing is you play into your strengths okay so you are going to see that different people are doing things in different ways and ne not necessarily there's no there's no one way the most important thing that shines through is the fact that the successful people in your field, in your niche, they are those who have been able to integrate and play to their own strengths. Okay, so you're just going to say that. So you even just look at the studying, the learning journey, they want you, your divine masculine energy, the divine masculine wants you to take right now is not one about you learning their strategies or their tactics or trying to do things like they don't know. It's for you to just like, okay, they were, the most important thing is that they were original. Most important thing is that they were original in their decisions. They were original in their choices, in their outputs, in what they did. And this is what helped them to stand out. This is what helped them to stand out. Let's see, concerning this illness, okay? You've got gratitude. I am aware of the light in my life. I direct my thoughts. I direct my thoughts to the beauty in and around me. I give thanks to God for every little thing that brings me joy. Thus, I enlighten my thoughts, which is surround me, and I appreciate all that life brings, okay? Because this illness seems to have also like made you feel like, oh, oh poor me, dear me, oh, why are things no better? Why is this? Why that? Okay, so Spirit is saying, come back into gratitude. You are just overall, all I'm hearing for you is that leave the tactics alone, leave the strategies alone, and just showing up as yourself. You are the main thing that matters in this whole situation. You are the main thing that matters in this whole situation okay yeah the main thing that matters in this situation so trust that spirit is always going to guide you spirit is always going to be there for you spirit has always got you don't try to be too strategic or analytical with this no mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's not the way to go about it be open and trust that you'll be yeah exactly where you need to be 
at the right time and everything is always happening for you all right let's round up your reading let's see what does the divine what mindful message does the divine masculine want to give you Okay, so you've got follow your joy. Can you see? Follow your joy. Today, I'll write 10 things down. Can you see? Follow your joy. Today, I'll write 10 things I enjoy doing. The things that make me feel good and raise my mood. Then I'll pick one or as many as I feel guided to and go do it. When I'm having fun and enjoying life, I'm in a state of allowing for all that I desire. And then you've got recharge. I invite magic into my life always. Every day, I grow my connection to this earth. If I'm ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. All right, my love. So that was your reading. That's what the divine masculine needs you to know right now. You're trying to do too much. You're trying to plan over plan, over prepare, over analyze, over, you know, plan for all the possible outcomes. But that's not the way to go about it, okay? That's not the way to go about it. You have to surrender to ease. Surrender to letting things be. And it seems like your stressing is also contributing to the illness and to the because your body is in a state of disease. Okay? Your body is in a state of disease. So it's it's what's making it through up the allergic symptoms and then the flu and then the fever. When you drop your sword and stop fighting, you find out that everything is always working together for you at all times. All right? Everything is always working together for you at all freaking ass times. All right, my love. So if you third deck, this was your reading. If you like this video, if this message resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. Okay? Alright, baby. I love you.